And Wisconsin is set to receive $2.2 billion in federal money to help respond to the coronavirus pandemic. It will largely be up to federal requirements and Governor Tony Evers as to where that money goes, but state lawmakers could pass additional measures to help Wisconsinites. NBC 26's Matt Jarko spoke with several lawmakers about what they would like to see. More than $2 billion are coming into Wisconsin. The question now is, how should that money go out? It's really more about getting money directly into the hands of the people that need it right now because they can't work because of this. All businesses in the state that are, are struggling to stay afloat uh, while they're uh, being closed down by the government. We reached out to more than a dozen lawmakers Friday, and we got, well, more than a dozen other ideas from ventilators to personal protective equipment, helping local sheriff's departments and nursing homes, or promoting telehealth. Spending the $2.2 billion from the federal government is ultimately a decision for Governor Evers. We're a long way from make, making those decisions uh, soup, but uh, we're beginning the conversations not only with uh, um, our staff and, and others across the state, but uh, with the legislature. Lawmakers could also act and meet to discuss a possible package of bills. There's a desire from Republicans and Democrats to waive the state's one-week waiting period for unemployment insurance. We have to make sure that we remove that waiting period because uh, people really need to make sure, uh, we need to make sure that our constituents and the people of Wisconsin are, um, are able to get the resources they need. Some legislators said it's important to maximize every dollar to help the state's finances. A budget surplus of hundreds of millions of dollars is likely gone. Hopefully the, the consequences will be limited to this fiscal year, um, but going forward, we just have no idea until we see how long this, uh, this virus lasts. That time frame could ultimately play a role in the state's response. Matt Jarko, NBC 26.